We've, we've seen food being delivered there. The fact is that a lot of them are there drug are 3, addicts as people, well. There are 3,000 people, Pauline. They've actually met medication they're getting the medication they're actually they're alcoholics so they they're being looked after that way they're actually getting paid extra money why are they getting paid extra money um, for what they're not leaving the premises a lot of these people are from non-english speaking backgrounds probably english is their second language who haven't adhered to the rules of um, social distancing they all use a lot of the same laundry so the fact is you've got to look at why they're in that situation the people's princess pauline hansen we're going to talk about her she's been banned from channel nine and we're going to talk about her comments and we're going to talk about what it means all these banning of conservative voices stick around the report from tiger mountain ladies and gentlemen Pauline Hanson, ladies and gentlemen, was on the Today Show on Channel 9 and she got in trouble because um, you should go and check out, go and check out Pauline Hanson's page and check out her entire comment. It's about eight minutes long and uh, it's actually quite reasonable. Um, she talks about, first off, how um, there was a dodgy uh, security company that was put in charge of uh, basically uh, hotel quarantines and all the security, I don't know if you've all noticed this of late, all security companies seem to be hiring Muslims uh, and immigrants uh, as their workers, which actually um, is, seems like a very, very bad idea because many, um, many actual terrorist events come from this community and these are the people who are our security. It seems like incredibly uh, like a bad thing to do. So, um, you know, first of all, that doesn't make sense at all. But I've noticed that if you look at the football, if you look at security at many public events, dance events, even like nightclub and, and events like my own Melbourne Underground Film Festival, well, my own doesn't do it, but I've seen other film festivals have a lot of uh, ethnic security, and that, which seems like a very bad idea because all you need is one or two of them to corrupt and they can allow you know, a couple of people with a machine gun into a vent and you've got absolute horror on your hands, haven't you? Like the, uh, you know, the Bataclan um, event over in Paris. But anyway, that's kind of diver diverging a bit. Back to Pauline Hanson. She critiqued, um, you know, uh, the security companies and she said that the army was offered to uh, Danny Andrews and that why is it different in New South Wales? But well, the New South Wales took the offer. They took the army's offer and so did Queensland and so did many other states around Australia. The only state that didn't take it was Victoria and um, Pauline Hanson said maybe it was the unions that was pressuring Dan Andrews. I think it was the Chinese Communist Party because he seems to be the Chinese Communist Party's boy um, in Australia. I think he was being pressured by uh, the CCP to not um, lock this down properly because they want this virus to continue in Victoria, to continue the damage, the economic damage, so that we desperately need this Belt and Road bullshit that he signed us up to. I think it's all a, you know very dodgy what's going on. I think ASIO and the Federal Police should be uh, investigating this, but anyway, that's their job. Um, so anyway, Pauline Hanson was talking about this and then she began to talk about the kind of people that uh, are in lockdown inside this uh, Housing Commission flat. It's very Dawn of the Dead. I don't know if you've seen the beginning of Dawn of the Dead. The situation right now uh, over there is very, very Dawn of the Dead. Um, well, she said basically um, that the people in these Housing Commission flats are drug addicts who can't speak English. Now, um, you know, is that incorrect? Um, no, it isn't, basically. That's the truth. Yeah, let's be honest. If now, it's not the truth about every single person in that building, of course. There are probably some um, unfortunates who are there. Um, you know, this, you know, there will be people there who aren't like that, of course. But I would say, on the whole, that would probably be true. And she's been sacked um, from Channel 9 for basically speak the, speaking the truth. And so, you know, she was sacked from um, Channel 7 before that for making controversial comments, and now she's been sacked from Channel 9. Conservative voices all over Australia uh, are being sacked basically for speaking the truth uh, and this is a shocking state of affairs. I mean Channel 9 used to be one of the last bastions of mainstream news that uh, actually occasionally had a proper conservative on to share their opinions. Um, you know Channel 10 fell to the cabal a long time ago and it's had that Wally to Lee on that project show and and many other shows, their morning show as well, is very left-leaning like the ABC now, it's terrible. So Channel 9 was the last bastion of the people, and, and now they've gone and sacked Pauline Hanson. I think it's terrible. I think people should um, boycott uh, Channel 9 and their uh, morning show until they reinstate Pauline Hanson. Uh, or we should create you know, another channel, Alternative News Networks, like our own here at The Unshackled, and the report from Tiger Mountain, you know, for where conservative voices can spread their opinions. I think Pauline Hanson had every right to say what she said. I said basically it's true. It w obviously is not true about every single person in that building. But, you know, I mean, the very fact that, you know, we have immigrants here who can't speak English and you wonder why they don't understand, um, you know, the instructions of Daniel Andrews. Well, they don't speak English. How can they understand him? And they don't know sign language. You know what I mean? Because they've got some idiot there doing the sign language bullshit, which is, again, just another PC nonsense that's taking up half the screen and distracting people from even listening to Daniel Andrews. So it's a terrible situation. And um, 
We support Pauline Hanson here at the report from Tiger Mountain. We think she's a legend and we support the People's Princess. Keep fighting, Pauline. We're right behind you and you're a legend. That's it.